Hey you guys, it's Vijaya, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite sandwiches, the Italian grilled cheese. I think when everyone thinks of grilled cheese, they automatically think processed cheese in between two pieces of white bread. And while I grew up on that and I love it, I love to switch it up every once in a while, and this recipe, let me tell you, it is killer. The combination of flavors is insane, so let's get right to it, here's what you're going to need. I'm going to start off by making a basil pesto. So for that I'll need a little bit of olive oil, half a cup of picked basil leaves, some almonds, a tablespoon of almonds, and you can use walnuts or pine nuts as well, any nut that you have on hand, a clove of garlic, and some parmesan cheese. I have Italian bread here. Now you can use any type of bread that you like. I just personally love Italian because it's kind of smudgy, has a nice crust to it. We have some tomatoes some sliced mozzarella, oh did I mention the salt? We're using salt in this recipe, as well as some arugula. So let's begin. I'm going to start by making my pesto, so in go the basil and the nuts, and then I'm just going to take a little micro grater like this, grate in the garlic because you don't want huge chunks of garlic in the pesto, as well as a couple of tablespoons of parmesan, also known as Parmigiano Reggiano, you know, the good stuff. And then I'm just gonna go in with a pinch of salt. There is a little bit of salt in the Parmesan, but you need a little bit of, like a pinch of salt just to round the flavors out. And a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And you can see that I'm eyeballing it, but it's definitely a quarter of a cup to make it into this glorious, green, smooth sauce. So here we go. Oh my god, the smell, wow, and the color. Check out that glorious green color. So this is step one done for our Italian grilled cheese. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a couple of slices off this beautiful Italian loaf. You'll wanna use a serrated knife for this because it makes the job a lot easier. And before I get onto my toppings, I'm just gonna lightly oil both sides with a little bit of olive oil, use your hands, get in there, and that's gonna give us that beautiful golden color once it hits the grill, right? Just like that. So, here we go. Now for that glorious green pesto, you wanna just do a generous spread of that. And really, my mouth is watering just smelling this because the pesto is what really, really puts the sandwich over the top, that beautiful basil flavor. There's nothing that can compare to it. And hey, if you don't have basil, because I know different parts of the world you don't have basil, you can go ahead and use uh, coriander or even parsley watercress, any sort of leafy, uh, neutral kind of green without too severe a flavor, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with these tomatoes. These tomatoes kind of look cool, they're different. They're Kumado tomatoes. Um, they're the new cool tomato, but basically I love them because they're good any time of year. But what you wanna do is just get a tomato that tastes really good and fresh and delicious to you, okay? So on go the tomatoes. Like, doesn't that look so gorgeous already? Man, you could eat this even without grilling it. Oh, come on, squeeze on there. And tomatoes always need a little pinch of salt, so I'm doing my due diligence here. And because we didn't have enough green with the pesto, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of arugula. And the pepperiness of the arugula with the sweetness of the tomatoes and that salty, gooey, stringy cheese. Oh my God, let me tell you, it is gonna be so, so good. Now this sandwich looks huge right now, but once it hits the grill, it is gonna compress and turn into something magical. So let's hit the grill. So I have an indoor grill that I've just gone ahead and preheated, and I love these things because it just makes life so, so easy. And then I'm just gonna put my sandwich on here and then slowly lower the top and just the weight of the top is gonna press that sandwich together and have it cook so perfectly. So I'm gonna let it hang for about, I think three or four minutes until the top gets nice and crusty and the cheese gets ooey and gooey. So I'll check back in with you guys in a sec. And when it's done, it looks a little something like this. Oh my gosh, check out the goo factor. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, the cheese just gooed out. That's my favorite part though. <gasps> Be careful. <gasps> hot, 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 oh, hot, hot, oh, my fingers. Oh my gosh, how glorious does this look? 
all that ooey gooey cheese, the tomatoes are just bursting. Oh yes, that looks amazing. Oh my God, I'm like almost drooling. Now it's time for the taste. Here we go. Mmm. I'm hanging out in Capri, drinking a Negroni, and eating this Italian grilled cheese. It's really transporting me. Those tomatoes are perfectly acidic. The basil pesto, it's just vibrant and bright, a little sharp, balances it all out. And that mozzarella, man, holy smokes. It is super gooey and ooey and luscious and, come on, another bite. Why am I dropping something in every single video? I should wear a bib, shouldn't I? Because obviously I haven't grown up. Italian grilled cheese. You guys have got to try this. Promise me. Promise me you'll try this recipe because I think you will thank me later. It is really that good. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, leave me your requests and comments down below. Maybe one of your requests is that I get some like wet wipes because I have tomato all over my sweater now. Typical of the jam. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next week. Bye.